everybody. Welcome to the first episode of Board Games and Brunch. I'm your host, B. And in today's episode, we're going to be learning how to make an orange cranberry scone, a hot chai toddy, and learning how to play the game backgammon. With that being said, let's get started. To make orange cranberry scones, we're going to start with two cups of all-purpose flour, eight tablespoons of granulated sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and a half teaspoon of salt. We're going to take that and then mix in eight tablespoons of unsalted butter, and then we're going to fold that butter in until it becomes the consistency of magic sand. With that being done, the next thing is to make our wet mix, which is one third cup sour cream, one third cup heavy cream, one large egg, and a tablespoon, teaspoon of vanilla extract, and uh, some orange zest. We mix it all together and pour it into our dry mix. And once we've mixed it all together, we're then going to take, take uh, two uh, tablespoons of sugar and some cranberries, and we're going to put them in a bowl together. And once we have the cranberries and sugar together, we're going to mix them all together and then dump them into uh, our scone and mix it all together to until it's all nicely folded in and make a disc out of it and cut it up into eight pieces and put that into the oven. While that's in the oven, we will make our hot Thai chai, our hot, why is it so hard to say, hot chai toddy, which will be a mixture of black tea, chai tea, uh, honey, lemon, and some whiskey. We're going to mix it all together and garnish it with a lemon wedge. And we'll take our scones out the oven, we'll plate them, and that is how you make scones. That was brunch. Now here's our board game, Backgammon. In Backgammon, the object of the game is to remove all of your checkers from the board. Starting at the position furthest away from you and moving clockwise closest to, to you, then offboarding. Your opponent does the same. First, you set it up, you roll the dice, and depending on what you roll, you move your pieces, whichever piece you want, however many places the dice say. You cannot land on a place that has two or more checkers of your opponent's checkers. However, you can land on a place that has one, either open spot or one of your opponent's checkers. If you land on a place with one of your opponent's checkers, you knock them out and put them on a rail. For the player to get back in, they have to roll the exact number of an open space and then move into that space. Work to move all of your pieces into your quadrant. Once you have all of your pieces in your quadrant, you begin offboarding. The goal is to remove all of your pieces. Once you've removed all of your pieces, you've won the game. You have to have all of your pieces in your quadrant before you begin offboarding. Remove all yours first, that's one point. Remove all your pieces before your opponent removes any pieces, that's two points. Remove all your pieces when your opponent still has a piece on the rail, that's three points. And that's how you play backgammon. This was Board Games and Brunch. See you next time. Then you score three points. And that is how you play backgammon. This has been Board Games and Brunch. See you next time.